गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर दैट इज फाइबर टू फैब्रिक आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल यू रिगार्डिंग वूल वेयर इट इज यूज यू शुड नो द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ वूल ऑल्सो इजेंट इट दैट इट इज डज नॉट गेट ट्रेंकल इजिली इवन आयनिंग इज नॉट रिक्वायर डज नॉट टीयर ऑफ इजिली ऑल दीज आर द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ वूल नाउ द सेकेंड नेचुरल फाइबर विच इज इन योर सिलेबस इज सिल्क सो टूडे वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सिल्क बिफोर दैट लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दैट मोटिवेशनल वीडियो यू जस्ट वॉच इट फर्स्ट दैट मोटिवेशनल वीडियो Now what we have to do? That we'll start a chapter that is silk. For this, I want to tell you something regarding silk. When we are talking about the silk fiber, silk fiber, rearing of silk is known as sericulture. Sericulture is the term in which we Rear we make rearing of silk is done. Okay, rearing of silk. This का मतलब क्या हुआ कि हम क्या करते हैं silk वाम को grow करते हैं उसकी care करते हैं और then we take out silk from there. This is known as sericulture. Artificially, when we are taking care of that uh, 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 cocoons from which we get silk fiber, this is known as sericulture. very common silk are found there are varieties of silk found in india one is you will heard the name ari silk then a very common silk is known as the mulberry silk mulberry silk it means these are the uh, cocoons here yeah, you can see that these are the silk worms which feed on mulberry ari silk uh, means they are the silk worms which feed on castor on which they feed castor leaf and mulberry silk uh, worms feed on mulberry tree okay and even their mulberry tree there are varieties of silk the one is tasha then airy then mulberry silk and then um, you might have the kota silk uh, jute cotton so there are so many Silks which we are making. So now we'll first where silk was discovered. कहाँ पे पहले discover हुआ? किसी को मालूम है ये बात? हम्म कहाँ discover हुआ ये? Yes, it was in China. China was the first place where this silk was discovered. For this, we are going to see a very small video how this was discovered by 
the friends as you can see Silk is one of the most prized fabrics in the world. Most people love to wear silk apparels on special and auspicious occasions. Silk is obtained from silkworms which are cultured on commercial scale to obtain silk. But have you ever wondered that how this fiber was discovered 5000 years back by the mankind? According to an old Chinese legend, silk was discovered by a Chinese empress. She found some white worms eating up the leaves of the mulberry trees in her garden. She noticed that worms were spinning shiny cocoons around them. She collected some of those cocoons. Accidentally, one of the cocoons dropped into her cup of tea. She noticed that the cocoon was actually made from a long thread that was both strong and soft. In this way the fiber of silk was discovered but Chinese guarded the secret of silk for over 1000 years. Afterwards traders and travelers introduced silk to various parts of the world. Silk was introduced in India about 1900 years ago. The story of its introduction is related to a Chinese princess who married an Indian prince. She was very fond of silk fabric and therefore she brought silk worm eggs to India in her headdress and fed them with the leaves of Indian mulberry trees initiating the silk production in India. Currently, world's production of silk is estimated to be around 1 lakh and 25,000 metric tons per year. China holds top position with production of about 80% of the world's silk. India is also a leading producer, accounting for 10% of the world production. India is the world's second largest producer and consumer of silk and its products. Hi friends. So this, this is the like all about the silk. Okay, but how it was discovered? It was discovered in China. Accidentally it was discovered. Now that how we uh, do the rearing of the silk that what we uh, uh, how, how what is the life cycle of a silk actually the life cycle is known as it is metamorphosis we call it as meta morphosis means it take the stages different stages by which it grows one is that eggs from eggs what is grown caterpillar is grown what are grown caterpillars they come up from caterpillars what are formed cocoons are formed they are made up of protein the all the threads are of protein then the, from cocoons what we get we get adult uh, moth we get, actually they are moth or we can call them as imigo what we call it imigo so they are rise and remember one thing that when the male and female uh, that moth are there this uh, flies are there actually moth we they come out at night that's why we call them at moth is a variety it is not a butterfly it looks like butterfly but it is not a butterfly it is an another variety which comes out at night and remember that the female moth are always uh, they are always larger than the male moth and after laying eggs female always die and how much egg they lay they lay egg how much eggs are laid by them 300 to 400 eggs are laid by female moth imigo also we call it okay now we'll just look at the video of this what is there
silkworm. The female lays about 300 to 400 eggs in clusters upon mulberry leaves. Egg laying is completed in 1 to 24 hours. This egg laying process is completed within 1 to 24 hours. The female dies 3 to 4 days after laying eggs. Egg hatches into larvae in 10 to 12 days. In larval stage, a silkworm passes through 5 in stars or 5 different stages. Silkworms feed voraciously on mulberry leaves. They eat a lot and grow rapidly at this stage. So, this stage is also known as active feeding stage. In fifth in star, silko worm starts forming a case around its body. The outer case is also known as cocoon. It is the raw material to obtain silk. After cocoon is formed the cocoons are boiled in hot water to obtain silk. It is done to kill the caterpillar inside and get the silk. If the cocoons are allowed to live then the stage is known as pupa. It is the most passive stage in the life cycle of silkworm. It is the most inactive stage in which the body is covered inside a case. The body protected in cocoon undergoes an important change called metamorphosis. After metamorphosis the pupa changes into an adult imago and comes out of the puparium. In this way the life cycle of silkworm completes in about 45 to 50 days. The life cycle continues as the female mates and again lay eggs. Silkworm mainly are of two types. Airy silkworm, whose scientific name is Bombyx mori, and Seri silkworm, also known as Mulberry silkworm, whose scientific name is Atticus ricini. Seri silkworm, which is also known as mulberry silkworm feeds on mulberry leaves. Airy silkworm, whose scientific name is Bombyx mori, feeds on castor leaves. Silkworms are very essential organisms. They are the source of high quality durable and elastic silk and fibers. They are also the source of income for farmers and also the economy of a nation. Rearing silkworms commercially to produce silk thread in a large scale is termed as sericulture. It is the source for extracting natural silk. To obtain silk from the hard case known as cocoons. 
Those cocoons are boiled in hot water so that the pupa inside pupariam dies. Silk production in small scale. Silk production in large scale or industrial scale. After the silk thread is obtained from silkworm, then the industries manufacture clothes from those threads. So, we can now say that silkworms are so essential that even our clothes are made from them. Thank you for watching this video. So this was uh, the video how the life cycle takes place and there's one film I have kept even this is very good this is how the silk is weaved you can see. ये weaving of silk है कैसे silk को weave किया जाता है बनाया जाता है जब reeling कैसे करते हैं ठीक है
this was all regarding the videos of this silk how the silk is uh, made this i have given you isn't it now what you uh, you have to do some questions regarding this the question number 1 is first question is name different types of silk name different types of silk second is which is the common silk which is the common silk third is draw the life cycle of draw the life cycle of silk worm fourth question is what is cocoon and what is cocoon and what it is made up of now the fifth question is fifth question is what is reeling what is reeling what is reeling of the silk so this is all about today that you have to do this and the last day and saturday i'll discuss the question answer okay so this is all for today you read it and you do all this work so it is really okay bye